Hey guys, Auspicious Aussie here, and welcome to episode 110 of the San Marino Challenge. Now, today's episode, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be taking on Inter Milan in three separate games. Now, the first game will be the UEFA Champions League quarterfinal first leg, as you'd expect. We're then going to Serie A action, where we will also face Inter Milan. Uh, that game will be at home. This first game is away. And then the final game of the episode will be the second leg of the quarterfinals, which will also be a home game. So overall, looking forward to it. We've got a, you know, a triple header as such. And, uh, you know, Inter Milan, they're probably the... I would say they're probably the third best team. I feel like they're above Juventus at the moment. Anyway, we do have some fixtures to go over. Uh, no real transfer activity happened after the last episode. As you can see here, uh, the last episode was the 1-0 victory over Inter Milan in the Supercoppa. We followed it up with a pretty bad run of fixtures, actually. As you can see, a nil-all draw with Salernitana at home. Uh, we followed it up with another draw, this time against Atalanta. As you can see, a 2 all draw there for Marto getting sent off in the ninth minute. Uh, we also had our goals from Rossen and Adam. Another draw then preceded that one in the TIM Cup quarterfinal against Juventus. As you can see, the game finished 2 all, went to penalties. Uh, Rossen and Mierli on the score sheet for us there. Andy Adam getting himself sent off in this one. And uh, unfortunately, Cesar, the centre back, missed his penalty. Uh, also worth mentioning. McKinley missed his the well the first penalty that we actually took, um, but their player missed their second penalty. Anyway, moving on from that, another draw this time one all against the Swallow. Uh, as you can see, they opened the scoring through Volpe, and then Formato managed to get us our goal back, but we couldn't find the breakthrough, and that was four games without a win. Um, obviously, one of which was a cup game. We did bounce back, however, with a 4-0 victory over Kievo. Formato got himself a brace. Mierli and Rossen on the score sheet once again. We then went into the first knockout round. First leg against Leon. Managed to beat them 2-0 away from home. Albani and Formato once again on the score sheet. We then managed to beat Palermo in Serie A action. Formato with a penalty and Albani on the score sheet there. Uh, they also had a player sent off, which made it a little bit easier for us, although we were already two goals up. We then managed to beat Sampdoria, who are doing pretty well this season. Uh, we managed to beat them 2-1. Um, Albani opened the scoring. They then got a goal back, made it one all, And then in the second half, Mierli put us 2-1 up and gave us all three points. We then managed to beat Roma 4-3. And uh, I have to say, this was a pretty crazy game. Tiob opened the scoring in the fifth minute. We then had Andy Adam in the eighth minute get our second goal. Mierli then scored two minutes later in the tenth minute, and we were 3-0 up. They then got one goal back before we got our fourth, much, much later. So, yeah, it was very interesting. McKinley getting the fourth in the 71st minute. They then got their second goal in the 78th minute, and then finally they got their third goal, and were essentially piling on the pressure at around the 86 minute mark. So, almost an impressive comeback from Roma. The next game was the second leg of the first knockout round. As you can see, finished a nil all draw at home. Not the greatest result in the world, but I mean, we kept a clean sheet and uh, obviously we went through with the two goal advantage. We then smashed Spal with a 4 0 victory, Andy Adam with a brace, Diallo and Albani on the score sheet. We also managed to beat Lazio 2-0 away from home. Albani and Mazzari on the score sheet. Another pretty disappointing nil all draw against Bologna. And finally, a 1-0 pretty clutch victory over Parma. Albani scoring a penalty and then getting himself sent off with a straight red card in the 74th minute. So yeah, there we go. That's all the fixtures. We'll get into the lineup for this first game. Like I said, I've never done a triple header before, so it's going to be a, a pretty interesting episode. Um, I feel like it was just perfect the way that it was set up, you know, with us drawing 
Inter in the quarterfinals. Now, today's lineup, we're going to go Ingvarsson in goals, Zaffirani at right back, Silikin and Sessa as the two center halves, with Rodrigo Henrique on the left-hand side of them as our left fullback. El Hadji Diallo will start as the defensive midfielder today, with Abu Diallo and Mioli in front of him in central midfield. Rossum will be on the right wing, Fumato on the left wing, and then Albani will be up front. The bench day is going to be Brunei, Diob, Michelotti, Mazari, Kabaya, Andy Adam, and finally Scott McKinley. All right, just having a look at their team, obviously, Labadee, player we're very familiar with. Paulo Marcelo's been at Inter for probably about 10 seasons. Let's have a little quick look here. Uh, okay, he hasn't actually been there that long. He was at Napoli prior. That's, yeah, he's he's been around the Italian Serie A for, for quite some time. Anyway, let's advance. I fully expect the boys to keep the run going here today. And we'll get straight into it. Worth mentioning that I have also uh, changed the positioning of my microphone. Just more or less to test it out. Still trying to get the absolute best sound settings from my microphone. Wanna, you know, just want to improve the quality especially going into FM20. Anyway, in to have the ball here, although we have won it back and then given it away very quickly. Labadee bring the ball forward. Good tackle though by El Hadji Diallo. Mato plays it to Albani. Goes back to Henrique. Albani again. I mean, it would be great if we could try and sneak a nice early goal. Albani, Tomato, Albani, and it goes over. Although we, we have another highlight here, still pretty early, at about the 10 minute mark. Abu Diallo with an absolute rocket hits the bottom of the crossbar and goes into the back of the net. We're 1 0 up in the 10th minute. Perfect start. Get the away goal as well. It's going to really put us in a, in a good position. Ooh, Zaffirani's picked up a knock there. Um, that's a little bit unfortunate because we don't have Brambati, um, but that's fine. Michelotti can, of course, play right back as well. We We did retrain him there. I mean, Michelotti himself isn't actually, he's pl not playing to the, the best of his ability. Anyway, that should be half time. All right. I mean, it's not a bad first half. I mean, nothing really happened apart from the goal, which is fine because obviously we are leading. I would just, I would like some of the other players to step up a little bit. You know, Fumato, Albani. Rossen as well. Bit of a nothing game at the moment. I'm going to bring Andy Adam on for Fumato. And I guess we'll keep we'll keep it like that. All right, Inter now playing the ball forward. Abel Ricardo, Riva. I mean, they're playing a black, a, across their back line. I mean, Lapidee, he really is um, sort of their go-to man at the moment. Um, but we are dealing with him pretty well. Rossen, not a great shot by him. I mean, it's our second shot on target, but I mean, it really, it didn't look like it was going to challenge the goalkeeper. A little bit unfortunate, but I mean, there's nothing we can really do. I don't have many options on the bench. We've only got the seven-man bench. Rossen's in behind. Still cannot score. Yeah, that's really frustrating. He's having a, a bit of an off day on a 6.4 at the moment. 
And I mean, we all know that he's he's better than that. I mean, he's essentially a world class winger. So I'm expecting him, well, hopefully bounce back in the next game, in the Serie A game. Here he is now. Can he get a, an assist? He cannot because Andy Adam crashes his shot against the post. That's a great tackle there from Diallo. It's worth noting that he's actually starting to play well. Uh, Gotheron picked up an injury. So El Hadji Diallo has been starting. I mean, he's actually not playing too well today based on his rating, but... All right, there we go. 1-0 victory. I have to say that's pretty good for a first leg, especially in a away leg. You know, we've kept the clean sheet, got an away goal, puts us in a in a much better position than if it was actually a home game. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, well, I'm going to skip forward the four days and I'll join you back for the Serie A game. All right, so let's get into this lineup for this second game, which will be the Serie A game. I uh, made a couple of changes. Uh, up front, Albani is suspended uh, due to the straight red card that he picked up in the last Serie A game. So McKinley's going to come in up top. Uh, we've also changed the midfield around slightly. Diallo's gone to the bench. Mazzari's come in for him. And then we've moved Mioli over to the left-hand side of the center midfielders. Uh, in the back line, we've also brought Brambati in for Zaffarani, um, who's lacking a little bit of match uh, condition, as you can see there. Um, so yeah, that'll be the starting lineup. Uh, the bench is essentially the same, apart from the players that have now dropped there and uh, the players that have gone into the, into the first team. I'm just wondering if Inter are gonna rest their players for this game. Um, it doesn't really look like it. Looks like they're actually going with the exact same team. Which is interesting. Because you would expect them to, to try and come out firing in that second leg. I mean, I forgot to mention it before the first game. But I really want to win all three of these games here today. That is definitely the aim as El Hadji Diallo picks up a yellow card. As does Mazari as well. Not a not a great start. The Silicon as well. I mean we're just going through yellow cards at the moment. I mean Cesar, I mean who else wants to pick up a yellow card at this point? Anyone else? Jeez. All right, McKinley's got the ball, brings it down from the throw-in, shoots, and he scores. What a goal. Scott McKinley. Outside the box, that was that was a perfect, perfect goal. That was beautiful. As you can see, we've got the league table down here. Uh, we're currently sitting seven points clear of AC Milan. And then, of course, Inter are down in third, a little bit lower. Yeah, so far so good. We're 1-0 up again at halftime. It was enough to see us through in that first game. Hopefully, it'll be enough to see us through. Well, I mean, realistically, I'd like to score more goals. But I'll definitely take a 1-0 victory two games in a row. Should be a yellow card. The Labadee there. A red card. Wow. I mean, he's had a, a bit of an Adebayor moment there. Of course, me referring to Adebayor getting sent off as Mierli puts it in the back of the net there. Seventh goal of the season for him. Rambati with the assist as well. 
Yeah, when Adebayor got sent off against Arsenal uh, quite some time ago. All right, we're going to make a couple of subs here. Tomato is going to come off for Adam. Then I'll, yeah, I think we'll bring Rossen off as well. I mean, he's played better today. But I just don't think... Oops, I did not want to do that. Bring Oliver on as well for El Hadji Diallo. I mean, Oliver's not a natural defensive midfielder. Uh, but he can definitely... He can definitely try and play there. I mean, we're 2-0 up. We're looking pretty solid. Of course, their goalkeeper's on a 7.2 at the moment, so he's also having a pretty good game. But there we go. Scott McKinley gets his second goal of the game. Andy Adam with a, a decent header, uh, but the second rebound did fall to McKinley, who did put it, back in, put it in the back of the net. 3-0 up. I think this game's over 100%. Uh, and we're two from two against Inter in this episode. Like I said, I want to make it three from three. Um, and obviously that was sort of my my goal going into this episode. Yeah, definitely definitely handed a lifeline there by our former player, Labadee. All right, so I'm going to skip forward the next four days and I'll join you for the second leg of the quarterfinals of the Champions League. All right, so let's get into this third and final game of the episode. Uh, we've made more changes. Uh, basically, it's the same starting lineup from the first game. The Zaffaranis come back in, Abu Diallo, and of course, Albani up front. Uh, the bench is similar. Apart from Gotheron, he's just come back from his injury. So, yeah, he comes onto the bench. I think Oliver was the player that we dropped out of the subs. All right, let's get into it. I mean, by the looks of things, they're going once again with the exact same lineup three games in a row. Now, we do have the 1-0 lead, so hopefully we can, you know, maintain that at the very least. Got two players picking up early, early yellow cards. Zaffirani and Albani both picking up their yellow cards in the first, well, the first four minutes, essentially. Pretty disappointing. Looks like Abu Diallo has picked up a, a bit of a knock there. Nothing too serious. Bit of a gashed leg. All right, we've had it. We've had a few shots. They've had one. No one's had a shot on target yet. All right, Rossen, to Henrique, Zaffirani. Loses a ball. Rossen manages to get it back and puts in a beautiful low shot. That's his 12th goal of the season. And of course, he didn't really look very good in that first leg. But he's got the goal here today. And they've just hit the post. So very unlucky for Inter. But once again, we've taken the lead. Um, and hopefully, I mean, it looks like we will be going into halftime 1-0 up again for the third time. Nice, impressive first half yet again. And I'm, I'm very pleased. I mean, if we can maintain this victory, three, three wins from three games against Inter in today's episode. All right, Diallo goes all the way back to Invarsen. Ingvarsson's been such a, an integral part of this team. Oh, Rossen's stolen the ball off the goalkeeper. Puts it in the back of the net, and we're 2-0 up. Rossen with a brace. And you have to say it's all but over for Inter now. I mean, they had to score there off that free kick. 
and uh, all they've gotten is a corner. Pretty good save there from Ingvarsson as well. All right, we're going to make a couple of subs. Uh, Diallo can come off for Mazzari. Actually, let's do let's do a double change. Both center mids can come off, and we'll bring Gortheron on as well. Give him a little bit of match fitness. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep the last sub just in case. Who knows, we, we might actually need it. All right, Inter coming forward, but Gatheron and Henrique link up to steal the ball away. Albani, another ball to Rossen. Can't get his hat-trick, though, unfortunately. There's still time, though. That's a penalty. Albani's gone down. Hopefully, Rossen will take it. Although, I'm pretty sure I've unticked the box. Um, so, realistically, it should be Albani taking the penalty. Yeah, there we go. It is a penalty. Looked like the goalkeeper came out of the box and missed the ball, I think. Oh, it is going to be Rossen. He goes straight down the middle. There's his hat trick. He was almost, you know, non existent in that first leg. Uh, but he's definitely turned it around today on a 9.6 rating for the match. Very impressive. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy. I might actually take him off. I uh, don't really have anyone to take him off for. Uh, let's just go with Adam. I mean, he's not a he's not a right winger, but that doesn't really matter too much. We'll get Rossen off the pitch. Probably get a standing ovation from all the fans. We are playing at home, so you would probably expect that. There we go, guys. Three 0 victory, four nil on aggregate, and yeah, we won all three games against Inter in today's episode. We also get 9.4 million for the advancement into the semi-finals. I'm going to praise Rossen here for the hat-trick. And uh, yeah, we're going to advance. And I just want to say uh, a big thank you to you guys. Um, we've also got... The reason why I'm advancing is for the Champions League semi-final draw, uh, which will occur in a couple of days. I, just, I think it's on this Friday, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I just want to say thank you for all the support recently. You know, the series came back, and I, I wasn't expecting many people to, to want to watch it. Um, but it's been pretty well received, and I'm, I'm happy. And obviously, I've mentioned it previously. Streaming on Twitch as well. And uh, really, really looking forward to FM20 coming out soon. So make sure you stick around to the channel. And of course, there's going to be a lot of great content coming out with the beta. But here we go, semi-final, we will be taking on Hertha Berlin, of course, HSC, H HSC, I don't even know what I'm saying right now, BSC, Hertha BSC, what, I was, yeah, way off, anyway, we've had a, we've had a bit of a rivalry with them in European competitions, so I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to that, that will be the next episode. Um, I won't do the Empoli game, so it'll just be a, a double header with the first and second leg of that semi-final. Anyways, guys, if you could drop the video a like, it'd be much appreciated. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn on the post notifications, guys. Make sure you do that, and that'll keep you up to date with all the episodes and all the content coming out in the future. As always, guys, take it easy, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.